tonight. We have got Smith Jr. versus uh, Jeb Jebba, and I have brought back Collins VG on comms with me. Collins, welcome back. Yo, thanks so much for having me, Aaron. Nice to be back here in the booth on some pretty sick 16-star matchups. Uh, very excited. Uh, Schnaz talking trash in the chat. Not a huge fan, but he did just get a pretty nice PB, so we'll let it slide for the time being. Speaking of PBs, uh, our boy Collins VG right here, PBing and 70 star less than 24 hours ago. Wanted to give a big GG's to you too as well. Yo, thanks so much. Hard work pays off, friends. That's all I got to say. Absolutely. That's two PBs in one night, I believe you have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. That, the first one was pretty unfortunate, uh, but I was like, you know what? We're not stopping here. Perseverance pushing through and then we nailed the second pb and i was pretty okay with that one well let, let me put it this way we should never call a pb unfortunate <laughs> anytime that you finish the game faster than you've ever finished it in the past it's a win right touche all right well our pbs tonight are about a minute apart smith jr with a 1759 uh, Jeb Jebba with a high 18 coming into this match. Both runners playing on console tonight. Um, we got a level playing field, don't we? Yeah, we do. Um, only seven seconds of difference between um, emulator and maybe it's nine. I think it's seven though, between emulator and uh, N64. So it's usually not a crazy big deal. That's actually just like pretty much one missed lack of two skip. So it's not, not too much. We haven't seen, I don't think any VC runners besides captain speed runs which does save a bit substantial more amount of time. But even playing field, I heard Jeb Jebba just actually switched over to console, if I believe. If I yep. believe, if I believe uh, a recent, Jeb Jebba, a recent switch uh, to console. That's correct. Yeah, so we'll see how that plays out for him today. Maybe getting used to the new controller uh, can be a bit of an issue. Obviously, lag is another issue. It's places like Fire Sea and Diodar Docks and all that. So it uh, should be pretty fun to watch. So... Uh, Hopefully we can get it rolling here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'd like to hear from both Smith Jr. and Jeb Jebba in the tourney chat that they are ready for the countdown. We're going to do the countdown just like we've done all previous races. Tonight's race, best of three matchup between Smith Jr., Black Luigi versus Jeb Jebba. Jeb Jebba says he's ready in chat. Waiting to hear the ready, the go-ahead from Smith Jr. in uh, Discord. And then we'll get this race one on the way. I don't know if Smith can hear us. Smith, can you hear us? Send us a signal. Are you ready, Smith? Oh, he's, he's showing thumbs up on his camera. I just dropped in on his actual stream there. So we're ready to go. We are going to start those timers on go. Three, two, one, go. Alrighty, looks like we're off here, Jeb Jebba. A little bit of a head start, four seconds. Not a big deal. Perhaps we can get a bit more of a sync going on. That's actually perfect, pretty much. There we go. I got him. About two seconds off. Not a big deal. So uh, Smith Jr. on the uh, Japanese version here, and we got Jeb Jebba on the English cart. Um, Japanese going to be having a bit faster in intro, saves about a second overall. So not too substantial. Pretty much just uh, comes down to personal preference for a lot of people. If you're mainly a 70 runner, you probably want to stick with seven, with the English cart for 16 if you decide to run it, just because you're a little more used to the text boxes. So uh, this is something to think about for any runners trying to switch over. Absolutely. Uh, Smith Jr. Uh, actually got four dabs out of that Japanese version in one game. He dabbed on his camera as well as Mario dabbing. A total of four dabs. It's a tournament record. We'll see if he can break that tonight. Maybe get five. See how these lack two skip goes. Uh, Smith's looking pretty good. And so is Jeb's. That's pretty solid. Uh, Jeb, Jeb Jeba had a bit of an issue there with lining up the camera, but uh, all in all, not too big of an issue, um, although we're going to see a little bit of discrepancy in times just because of the version difference right now. And Smith maybe saved like a second on lack. Could you skip? Not a huge deal. 
Yeah, both clean castle movement heading into BOB. Oh, a little ground pound from Jeb. Smith. Not a big deal. Going to line up his attempt at bomb clip. It's looking oh, good. Oh, and he's moving all over the place. That Man, is th that is signature Smith. He likes to curve his way to the bomb. Uh, I don't do it myself, but you know it's him playing. You know it's nobody else with their hands on the controller. That's kind of insanity, but anyway. Uh, Schnoz, you got one more, bud. <laughs> We might be giving uh, Schnoz that sword next to his name just to protect him from Collins. Oh, Jeb taking a bonk heading into uh, uh, Womp's Fortress here while Smith is going to get some clean, move, clean movement into the painting. Yeah, definitely saving a bit of time here. Just show, just goes to show that that, um, that uh, Castle Moon is pretty big here. So let's see what Smith goes for. Probably going to head for Owlis first here. Actually looking like Cannonless. Let's see if he goes for Sock Folder or Texture. Looks like Sock Folder here. And it's a pretty quick lineup, but I'm not sure about Ooh, that. A little but it's early, fine. but he Looks got good, it. Though. Meanwhile, Jeb Jebba is setting up for our uh, Alice here. Let's see if he likes that angle. Ooh, he's yeah, not going to no. get it. He was too far left on the cage there, unfortunately. And honestly, Mario, uh, lack of two C down, Alice creates a ton of lag as well. You might as well not really even save any time. But barely gets into the cage there as Jeb Jebba snags that Alice star. Uh, looking, looking okay. Lose, losing a couple seconds there, maybe like seven. I like Smith's lineup for Cannon or for Alice a lot better. He gets into the cage there, not a problem. Jeb lines pretty far to the left. I'm not, not crazy on that lineup. Yeah, I like to be just a little bit to the left of that red coin um, on my departure from the island to the cage. Jeb, Jeb is setting up sock folder setup. He might have turned down a little bit too early, too. Is he going to miss this? Yeah. No, he sure didn't. He got it as well. I guess we should just let the runners show their skills here and <laughs> stop trying to call these candlelists no good when they're good. Yeah, it's, it's hard to it's hard to say sometimes. There, there are certain <laughs> candlelists lineups where you're like, this is perfect, and it doesn't work. And then other times where you're like, there's no way this works, and it works anyway. So, um, I mean, so it goes, I guess. And uh, Smith going to be finishing up Womp King here as Jeb goes for uh, Wild Blue. Uh, Smith going to be not completely under the star, but not a huge deal. Yeah, I find it uh, kind of interesting, actually, that Smith has not snagged Wild Blue yet. He opted for the Womp, Womp King first. Yeah, I think he actually might uh, create a bit of lag here, but I'm not really sure. I've never, um, I've never done it out of order, but I think he's just going to have a little bit of lag, perhaps, if the tower... I mean, I know the tower creates lag, but I'm not sure about for Wild Blue. I've never seen anybody do that star order, so I'd have to have to double check, but it doesn't really look like you're, he created too much excess lag. No, nah, he looked good to go there. While Jeb Jebba going to town on the Womp King, Smith's got five stars. He's headed back into the painting, and he is electing to go to the top of the tower before he heads to CCM. Looks like that star going to be right above Jeb Jebba's Mario right there. Looking pretty good. And uh, Smith is going to lose that cycle for the tower star, but not a big deal. Nice backup there. And he'll exit Womps here with a pretty solid, like, yeah, 450. 450, out of, uh, 450 yeah. 451 out of Womps. Not, nothing to shake a stick at uh, here in the main bracket second round, that's for sure. No, nah, it's definitely pretty close to uh, a perfect Womps there. Um, you know, minus tower star. Um, other than that, it was, it was really solid, so... Uh, we'll see how he does in CCM. Uh, definitely no major mistakes um, for Smith, but Jeb Jebba having a couple. Not a huge deal. 519 looks like Womp's exit, so definitely quite a bit behind here, but we'll see how he can handle it. Smith coming back to Mario 64. He had retired from Mario 64. Oh, go, here's the backflip. Wall kicks will work. He's going to oh, miss the dive. But hey, he's got the quick backup. Oh, missing the wall kick there. I spoke too soon. Yeah, commentator's curse twice. Oh, here comes Jeb Jebba into CCM oh, three now. Three times Smith struggling with the wall kicks will work, but makes it makes it work. He's making it interesting, that's for sure. Jeb Jebba gonna head down. He's got a uh, little bit of a chance to catch up here with a clean CCM. These runners could be a lot closer going into Dark World uh, than they were coming into CCM. Uh, that was a crazy uh, side flip angle there from Jeb Jebba. Ooh, almost into and the uh, slide star there for Smith. Yeah, would have lost quite a bit of time, but Smith is very lucky that he managed to uh, avoid that chimney entrance there. That could have definitely uh, 
I mean, I think it's like a nine second loss or eight seconds or something. So it's not nothing insane, but you don't want to give Jeb too many opportunities to catch up here. Oh, but he's gonna Jeb die. is oh, gonna drop, drop the, the penguin. baby penguin. He's oh, gonna have man. to take a death now. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, you hate to see that. Yeah, that's an unfortunate one. As uh, Smith here is gonna go up in a dark world, cruising through this lead. Uh, not a thing to worry about right now. Jeb Jeb has got to take the redemption arc here. This baby penguin, he is a murderer. PETA has been called. Police are on their way, so you better hurry up and finish the speed run, Jeb Jeba. And Smith Jr. Um, sticking to the plan, not going for Dark World Reds. For he's a oh, he's Taking gonna a take punk. a punk there. That's gonna cost him a little bit of time, giving Jeb a little another chance to catch up here. But Smith Jr. as sub 18 runner that doesn't do Dark World Reds. Um, he just doesn't he doesn't feel comfortable about his speed in Dark World Reds. Kept screwing him up and said, you know what? I don't need him. I'm fast enough elsewhere. We can make it happen. He likes that oh, wall dang. kick there. That's some Smith swag. Uh, I he hate feels, it. Yeah, he feels good about it as he, oh, he's going to struggle a little bit of getting up the ramp here too. Jeb's going to have fine. a chance to catch up here. I think Jeb was warming up Dark World Reds earlier today. And uh, yeah, it looks like Jeb is going to opt for Reds. If he isn't, nope, oh, never no, mind. Just a, just, a wild cycle, or just a wild camera on this cycle. He can yeah. still catch up a bit here in Dark World. Smith losing, I don't know, four, five, maybe even six seconds with his movement. Yeah, definitely was not a super clean Dark World, no reds, but not a, not incredibly devastating. Um, as Jeb's going to need to kind of hurry up here. No wall kick from him, and uh, I much prefer that for certain. You know, Dark World Reds only saves like eight seconds. It's nothing crazy, but... Uh, it is it is substantial when you're getting like lower uh, when you're kind of you know finishing up uh, you know your beginner strats and everything. It is nice to learn those dark world reds. But if Smith has a has a 17 without him, I mean you can't really you can't really say anything about it. I guess absolutely not. Um, as Smith opening the door to the basement, he's headed to SSL and Lethal Lava Land and then HMC. While Jeb Jeba grabbing the key again on the US version of. Super Mario 64, unable to pull that dab off for the fans. But Smith, with an 8.55 entry into SSL, he is uh, quite a bit ahead of the Jeb Jeba here. Let's see if he can maintain the lead. Oh, Smith going for uh, Pillarless here. I don't know. Is that yep. a good – that looks like a good bomb. Is his angle good? Looks like a little too far to the left. Is he yeah, good? Little, his angle's a little bit off, yeah. He didn't get the double jump, and his angle is a little bit too far to the left. So going to cost him a bit of time there. Uh, definitely unfortunate, but thanks, Smith, for the content, my friend. Um, we'll get him next time. This is definitely uh, going to equalize things a little bit as he re-entered the painting at 923. Jeb Jeba heading it at 931. Only eight seconds separating these runners now. Uh, really making things close as Smith grabbed the top of the pyramid star. Jeb Jeba sure. going for Talons. Uh, almost, a little too, almost a little too far to the left there, but actually managed to avoid having the flag I see him. And I don't really know if that was the move for Smith to... Oh! Okay, he's got to be careful. Okay, he's good. That could have been devastating. Uh, as I was saying, not really sure that decision by Smith there to go for that that plus. It was, uh, cost him a lot of time there. And uh, I guess we'll see how he, uh, how he manages to kind of move forward with this. Again, it has been popular to go for that uh, pillar list here in the main bracket. I've had run, one runner in the main bracket pull it off. But a oh Jeb Jeba is he gonna oh, almost into the pyramid there? That would have been pretty devastating for his run. As Smith sets up for uh, Lethal Lava Land Reds. Commentator talking a little bit, talking a little bit of smack in the chat. Not a big deal. We're gonna move forward and uh, Smith collecting that uh, Lethal Lava Land Reds puzzle star. Mod deleted my message. Oh, no, Colin's getting bodied in chat. I think uh, Pinkto appreciates it when the commentators stay focused on the game and let the mods handle chat. Hmm, pretty interesting. <laughs> I'm the only. I'm sure I feel about that one. Anyway, just, <laughs> just kidding. It's a joke. <laughs> anyway, Smith lining up for emergency exit here. Let's see how it goes. Looking pretty good. And Jeb falling shortly behind here. Not a, in, not an insane 
uh, lead that, that Smith has here. But if he continues playing decently, um, I don't know. It's going to be tough for Jeb Jeba to come back. Yeah, Smith uh, getting a shot in on Toad. Toad must owe him a couple of bucks. Maybe Smith sold him an input display that it, Toad never paid for. I'm not sure. Uh, but Smith <laughs> heading back into HMC, shaking his head a little bit there. Not happy with giving Toad a little smack. Jeb Jebba going to grab that Toad star. Oh, and Smith getting a little hung up, heading to the door in HMC here for um, Rolling Rocks, which is he's headed to next. I'm wondering if we're going to see the wall kick strat for um, for the elevator star for Smith if he opts to go over the wall instead of the elevator clip. I know that he's a fan of that strat. I don't know if he likes to try to pull it off in a race scenario. Jeb Jebba clearly going to go for the elevator clip here. Yeah, box triple jump definitely saves a bit of time. It's like about four seconds of a difference or something along those lines. So it's definitely worth... Um, Looks like he's not going to go for it, but it's definitely worth learning if you're a little bit more advanced. Um, I know we know that GTM, I believe, actually goes for box triple jump in the no, no LBLJ uh, route, but uh, obviously he does it in LBLJ as well. But uh, it's not it's not super crazy, but it is definitely tough to get used to. So not very surprised that Smith ended up going for the um, more, uh, I guess, beginner strat just because it is a bit risky. I mean, it only loses a, like two seconds if you miss it, if you leave um if you leave uh emergency exit for a backup but smith nice miss grab there you got a nice Pretty early grab it's a much uh much better to grab him a little early than a lot of it late oh almost running away oh! without mips yeah jeb jeb jeba almost fell into the uh back into hmc there that would have been really unfortunate and he's so far ahead of mips and that's that's Ooh. an issue if you're too fast on the english version mips is pretty slow definitely a lot faster on the japanese version so jeb jeb just a bit too quick um for his own good there as smith heads into ddd quite a considerable lead not sure how i feel about this camera angle that looks eh it look okay it's good yeah, he's through heading to the second clip here jeb jeba in this first uh race best out of three he's not gonna get the text box that smith got but he a little back clip for the fans all Smith holding C left, reducing lag, heading to the sub. We'll see if Jeb Jeba can catch up. Really, Fire C is going to be where he has an opportunity to catch up unless Smith screws up this back sub here. It looks like he's going to take his time, make sure he's good to go. Nice triple jump. Oh, he's going to miss the star with his ground pound just a little bit too low, but Jeb Jeba reducing lag as well, holding C left with his pointer finger while he continues to swim with that thumb. You'd be surprised to see what different runners do for that lag reduction. Some people contort their hands in such a bizarre manner. It's kind of funny to watch different people do it sometimes. Let's yeah. see Smith. He's going for a pretty beginner movement here with Fire C. He's got oh, the pole. He gets the pole glitch. He says what? beginner movement. What? I've got pole glitch. I'm headed to this early cycle. Let's go, Smith. Yeah, it's gonna be still very tough for him to get the pole glitch here, but I or, sorry to get the early cycle, but it looks like he's might get the wall Ooh, kick. Just oh, missed just missed the wall missed kick. Wow, that pole glitch was hot, Collins. Yeah, it was like not the not the setup at all, but he still managed to hit that hit that uh hit the spot where those two angles adjoin, which is kind of like how that works, if I'm correct. But man, that was pretty swag to hit in a race for sure. Even though it didn't net him an early cycle, still just kind of nice to be able to say you hit that in a race. Yeah, definitely. Definitely making the cycle. He did get cozy. Oh. What is Jeb? Jeb Jebba. Not sure what happened oh, there. He wants to go for poverty lava boost. That doesn't even save any time. What are you doing, Jeb? Oh, and then taking a little bonk there. Poverty lava boost. Never thought I'd see it in a 16 star. I was kind of questioning his angle. It was more like it was more like a the Reds sort of uh, angle um, here in Fire C, but I mean it worked, I guess. Are we gonna get a dab out of Smith here on Bowser too? He is right on the key. No dab out of Smith in uh, Ray. Oh, we got a dab on the Smith cam, but no dab for Mario on Smith's race. That's going to be okay as Jeb Jebba lining up to throw Bowser 2 himself. Direct hit on the bomb. I don't know why. That's the hardest Bowser throw in the game for me, Collins. 
it's pretty tough it's it's pretty tough i don't know why i think it's just mentally like knowing how frustrating uh it is to miss it kind of plays a factor into its difficulty so uh, I definitely have had some issues with it. I've had a couple 70 PBs without that throw in there. It is nice to run against, though, I guess, in all in all fairness. As Smith missing his first shot at That's BLJ's. That's a YOLO BLJ angle. Uh, <laughs> it's not a, it's fortunately not of speed. And this is the great equalizer. We could see a comeback from Jeb here if Smith doesn't nail these BLJs. Oh, he caught it again. I lost speed. it. Yeah, definitely would like to see more of a setup out of Smith here with these BLJs, but uh, let's see. We're, we're, we're even here, so anything could happen. I like Jeb's a lot better, and looks like Smith actually might be able to catch this one. I think he's going to make very it cool. through. He looked good, and he is good. Smith is through the first BLJ. Jeb Jebba almost catching that first attempt uh, two or three times on that staircase. Going again now, cool. while Smith in the lack of two C down cam. He's going to catch that second BLJ quick right into the tube. He's in bits. Yeah, he's good to go. It's unfortunate that Jeb couldn't capitalize on that mistake. Uh, that one looks good, though. He should yeah. be able to get through there as long as he doesn't drop the uh, speed. Smith, Smith. Nice triple jump there onto the rotating platform. Just going to miss the cycle on the carousel. Nice Not a huge deal. He's got a he's got a pretty comfortable lead here. You just gotta focus on not dying. I mean, if you're if you're Smith and you're listening to the to the you know broadcast, I would not recommend moving left as that could happen. But uh, not a huge time loss. He managed to make it back. Oh, he's I gonna he's miss the second still. attempt. Jeb's got to really capitalize on this here at this point. It's gonna be tough. Jeb's still fighting that second BLJ before the match this morning. Watching him warm up. Uh, he was struggling on BLJs, and he was hinting at the fact that he might want to switch to emulator, uh, switch back to emulator for the race. Um, but he stayed on console. He's staying true to the console. Meanwhile, Smith did end up hitting that left side, um, standing left side. He is oh, and he dropped it. He up. was so close. He had caught, and he dropped it. This is so frustrating. At this point, you're, like, just desperately mashing, hoping you're going to catch eventually, but... Sometimes it just doesn't work, but it looks like it's going to now, but I think it's a bit too late as Smith here is already into the pipe. Short of a Getting death out. by Smith here, I think. Uh, oh, and that first throw, wide yes. right. Yeah, just a bit. And Collins, pay attention to the... Oh, Smith almost falling off the edge as well. Pay attention <laughs> to the angles, the camera angles that Smith uses on his Bowser throws. Sometimes you don't even know what bomb he's going to throw Bowser at, and it's a direct hit. Nice backup from Jeb there. Not sure if anybody happened to catch that, but did the uh, kind of 120 movement after you get the red there. Man, what is he? I can't believe he hit that. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't even think it was, I didn't think he was going for it. These Smith Bowser throws are always exciting. Going to nail that yeah, third that, throw, yeah. and he looks Looking just fair. as excited as I am. He's going to take this first race squeaking out a sub 20. Once he grabs the star, Jeb Jebba. Still finishing strong in bits here. He's going to turn around and not sure. Oh, he is going to go for left side here. It's going to be interesting to see. And he nails it. Nice. Ledge grab skip and everything. Ooh, so, and oh, then, he's going to take his spill. I think he probably knew that the race is over at that point. <laughs> Smith <laughs> didn't really seem like Jr. A typical mistake. <laughs> taking the first race in this best out of three with a 1955 Jeb getting hung up on BLJs. That was the difference here in this race. Number one, best out of three, second round matchup between Smith Jr. and Jeb Jebba. Uh, G nothing but GG's in the chat for both these runners here. Yeah, they were even at, at BLJ, so it could have gone either way. Um, I'm not counting Jeb Jebba out here. He's definitely outmatched in movement, um, and, and especially with that Womp split being as good as, as it was for Smith. But I really think that Jeb Jebbit can come back um, if he plays consistently with, uh, you know, getting the BLJs. Because like I said, they were even there. So it, it definitely was possible for Jeb Jebbit to have lined that up, that BLJ up and actually taken the lead. Absolutely. Um, we're we're going to find out what happens in this next race uh, here in just a minute. I just want to hear from Jeb Jebba and uh, Smith Jr. 
Uh, Smith, I've got eyes on your cam in case you want to give me a thumbs up instead of let me know in chat uh, that you are ready to rock and roll for race number two. Smith giving me the thumbs up, waiting for an uh, ready for Jeb Jebba in the chat. Jeb Jebba posting in the Twitch chat that he's ready. We're going to count this down just like we did the last race. Uh, three, two, one, goes. Counting down. Smith Jr., Black Luigi versus Jeb Jebba. Match two in round two in the main bracket. Three. Oh, got a one second out of Smith here. He needs just a second to get set. Wants to make sure he's checking his file to make sure he didn't save. And he's good, good to call. go. Good call so we don't have to restart the start. Thank you, Smith, for checking there. Three, two, one. One, go. And let's see if both of our runners getting started here. Just a couple seconds. Let's see if we can bring Smith up to speed. There we go. Look at that. Pretty solid sync we got. Maybe one of the best we've seen so far. So this is automatically the most hype match for sure. Automatically the most hype match. Again, Smith Jr., on the Japanese version, Jeb Jebba on the US version, both runners playing on console. It's an even matchup. We saw definitely a more seasoned um, movement out of Smith in the first match between these two. He was, uh, you can tell he's been playing the game a little bit longer. You can tell that uh, he's got the strategy down a little bit more. Even with his hiatus from Mario, it's been months since he played, coming back just for the tournament. Jeb Jebba um, recently switching to console. We'll see if he can pull it out this time. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Eh? That was just the warm up match that Jeb Jebba needed to kind of, you know, settle down a little bit. Is Smith, Smith misses a lag to skip here. Jeb Jebba could capitalize on this mistake. Looking good. Saving eight seconds. Pretty solid there for Jeb Jebba. Nailing that lag to skip. So maybe that's just what he needed. He needed a warm up match to kind of, you know, settle down and uh, prepare for the next one, maybe play a bit more consistently. So uh, this will probably even things out if he is able to nail Bomb Clip. It'll definitely even out uh, the differential in, in Womps. Not completely, but it, it will help. Let's see how it looks. Bomb Clip, he's fine. That's not a huge oh, bomb, but he... Jab. Oh, man, the angle just so slightly off. And let's see, Smith Jr., curling his way into the cage and he's going to make back all that time and a little bit more fortunately that one's fine for Jeb, Jeb Jeb but that's unfortunate Jeb threw with the second attempt on bomb clip losing the lead he had nailing Lakitu skip Smith Jr. is going to be the first racer into Womps here outside of anything odd happening in the lobby while Jeb Jebba not far behind him Smith through the door at 2.12 Looks like we'll probably get a 220, 219 through the door for Jeb Jebba. 221. So about nine seconds apart. Anything can happen. The lead really doesn't mean a lead that small really doesn't mean much. As Smith get, struggling a little bit on the ramp, but he's going to get up, setting up for Canalis. Sock folder set up again. Again, he looks a little too far to the right to me and that down a little bit too early after the, before the punch. Yep, we call yeah, it right this time. Yeah, broken clock is definitely right twice a day, Aaron. <laughs> oh, and Jeb Jebba taking the... Oh, and he's going to take a spill as well. Taking the spill Jeb on Owlis here. Definitely needed to capitalize on that mistake from Smith. I don't like. I don't really like the fact that Jeb's going for the uh, for Owlis there. He doesn't seem ready for it. Um, maybe can uh, you know reevaluate which strats he's going for because to save you, lose, he's pretty much guaranteed losing ten seconds when he. For only a time save of four, it's not really incredibly worth it, in my opinion, at, at, at his level right now. But, uh, I mean, if he wants to practice it, by all means. And it looks like he's taking your advice already, heading over to Cannonless first, uh, not going straight back to Alice. He's going to wait for that Al, I believe. Uh, that could have been the difference if he would have just waited for the Al and gone Cannonless the first time. Um, he could have taken back the lead on Smith, but both of these runners. Oh, Smith diving off the right hand side of the ramp. That is not a mistake you want to make in a race. Yeah, I haven't really seen that too much, but nice recovery for sure from Smith here as he's gearing up for this Alice attempt. It looks pretty looks good. good to, oh, no. Oh, but he took a spill. It looks okay. good to me, too. Lining up a little bit uh, 
It's like yeah, Jeb Jebba's. A little more speed from Smith. He's going to get in there. There you go. So Jeb Jebba nailed his as well. Show me, show me up there saying, nah, I'm not listening to this commentator at all. We're going to go ahead and uh, nail this Owlis here. But not bad from Jeb. And this is a definitely a, a bit more of a of a slower Smith here. A little bit more, a couple more mistakes in this uh, in this Wamps. Unfortunately, Jeb not really capitalizing on those mistakes. Well, Jeb's technically currently in the lead um, as he takes some easy strats to get up to the Womp King here. He has one ground pound ahead on Smith. It's pretty crazy, like, you know, Smith missed Cannonless. Mm -hmm. And other than that, like, you wouldn't think any major mistakes, just a couple things here and there, but you can really see how these mistakes kind of add up. Is, is Jeb Jeb is ahead here, and uh, this is going to be, like, a five, like, I mean, probably this is the 15-second star if you're good at it. So maybe, like, a 530 Womps or something like that um, for Smith, and as, as Jeb as well, but... Uh, let's see how Jeb does with this one. He's going to go just straight for the double jump, side flip, double jump, wall kick, and that looks good. Yeah, with the side flip, it's a little closer to 17. Missing the star there, that's going to cost him a little bit of time, but still fading out at 526. Smith fading out of Womps at 530, four seconds ahead. We've got Jeb Jeba on the right-hand side of your screen heading to CCM. Uh, Smith about... What, what is that, about 40 seconds uh, slower than his Womps in the first race? Yeah, I think it was about 40. He, he was uh, at a 450, I believe, or 451 for the first split, or for the Womps split there. So definitely a lot more spaghetti dropped uh, by Smith there. And it is Jeb as well, but uh, Jeb's doing what it, what it takes right now. And uh, we'll see how this wall kicks will work goes. Smith goes for the um, faster strat by actually quite a bit of time here. And looks like he's going to go ahead and make it. So you'll see how much time he really made up there. Jeb's still barely in the head, barely ahead there. And that was, I mean. Yeah, less than a second, Jeb's ahead. He finished with an early 616 with Smith fading out at a late 616. Less than a second lead from Jeb Jebba. Um, and Jeb Jebba, if I remember collect correctly, was... No, both runners opting out of Dark World Reds as they both got the elevator star last Look race. at the sink here. Look oh, my this. goodness. Beautiful. The only difference here is going to be the star spawn. Jeb Jebba playing in the U.S. version that stars out in the snow. Meanwhile, Smith grabbing the star. Fake sink. It's not even the fake sink. I mean, it's a close to close to sink. Holy, that looks, that looks pretty nice. You'll, you'll notice that Jeb Jebba is choosing to save. He's not willing to he's not willing to risk. Uh, oh, my this goodness. This wild. This beautiful synchronized Mario here. You don't get to see this often, folks. My goodness. What a stink. Bingto in the chat saying, stream elements, do you really need to keep posting that all the time? If somebody would follow me on Twitter, I'd turn it off. <laughs> Quite unfortunate. And let's see who has the better Dark World No Reds here. Uh, I'm going to give the edge to Smith as he does a little bit better, more consistent movement with a triple jump wall kick there. And you can already tell he's cruising through here just a bit more, uh, a bit more quickly than Jeb, but not too much. Smith, you see this wall kick Yola. coming out. You'll gotta, you gotta love it. He does it every time. It's such a crazy strat. I've never seen that. Smith with the exciting strats of the fans. He landed on his feet in Dark World at 7.56. Jeb at 7.59, just three seconds separating these runners, heading into Bowser one throws. We've seen a miss in the past. Let's see if Smith can nail it. Ooh, he's got him. And Jeb Jebba, a direct hit. Maybe even making up some time, spinning Bowser uh, one one less time than Smith. Yeah, that, that hitbox on the bottom is so huge. It's, it's pretty tough to miss that throw completely. You'd have to, like, really with nice dab there from smith nice dab out of smith but usually in that one you see like in that bowser throw you see people short of the bomb because they don't want to spend it as much because they try to save a bit of time but uh not a not a big deal overall and uh looking like smith's just a just a bit ahead but look at that little error and castle movement didn't even look like anything at all and we have a nice sink again here jeb maybe like literally a frame behind or something like it, it's so close 
that castle movement is so, so important. And look at that. Jeb Jeba taking a little bit of a wow. lead. Wow. Jeb Jeba. So important. You can tell uh, how castle movement pays off here with Jeb Jeba taking a couple frame lead over Smith Jr. Is Smith going to try? No, it looks like he says, I'm playing it safe this time, guys. We've had our fun. No this way. race is too close. I don't need to do throw uh, any pillar lists. Both of them. I don't think I've ever seen this close of a race in a long time. <laughs> this is pretty exciting. I'm not going to lie. Um, we had one race decided by a little, a uh, little bit over a second earlier, but these runners, 933 fade outs for both of them on talons. Let's see how they do on the pyramid star. This is wild Collins. Yeah. I've called like a lot of matches. Just ask Sarah and Mew. I've <laughs> called a lot of matches in my day and I've never seen one that's so closely synced, uh, just barely frames off, but Jeb Jeba gonna lose the lead there. Just a little bit worse of a pyramid star, but we're still pretty close. This is still awfully close. Yeah, Jeb Jeba um, really taking his time on that pyramid star. Uh, you might want to visit the RTA guide and check that uh, the clean movement there is gonna save him at least two, two, three seconds over what he did in the race here today. Both runners headed to Lethal Lava Land Reds. We're pretty much going to see the exact same route out of these runners today. They may do the HMC stars in different order, if I remember correctly, from last run, but... It doesn't look like any lag reduction from either of the two runners there for that. Spam C right. Just saved a couple lag frames. But as we've seen, that could that could have made the difference with this uh, with this race here. But Jeb Jeb, uh, not a huge fan of not saving. Um, that does add up quite a bit. Believe it or not, you lose like eight frames um, per, uh, I believe it's eight frames per save and continue. So it, it, it eventually will add up. Is Jeb Jeba going to abandon that? Says this. Yeah, says he's, that, he's yeah, just a bit too close for comfort there. Jeb Jeba got a fear of spiders there. Uh, he decided to run for the hills, run to the basement, and grab that Loch Ness Monster Star. Meanwhile, Smith Jr. playing nice with Toad. He's got 13 stars. Jeb Jeba also playing nice with Toad. It'll be interesting to see what MIPS on looks like for these guys once they get out of HMC. Smith heading to Rolling Rocks. Good RNG so far from the boulders. And he's going to play it safe still, taking the side flip. And he's got that star. Uh, let's see. It looks like an 11.53 fade out. Well, Jeb Jeb has got to go back and emergency exit. I'm glad he remembered because I didn't. Yeah, that would have been devastating. <laughs> you need 15 stars to get out of here. And uh, it looks like um, Smith is just going to be a bit ahead here, going for emergency exit. It's a little bit of a faster star. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. He's not going for emergency exit. He's going for elevator star. So, actually, just not as not as far ahead as I thought. Um, you can do this star in like 16 seconds if you're Jeb Jeba, but he's gonna get bodied by the RNG, unfortunately. Um, but he's not super far behind here. Not and if at we all. see if we see the same issues with um, with BLJs that we saw with Smith in the last race, then uh, this could definitely be stay fairly close. And Smith is gonna have some issues there with that movement. Smith, Jeb Jeb is just making up a bit of time. And Jeb Jeb has really got to focus on this MIPS grab. He went way too fast last time. This one looks a lot better. Beautiful grab out of Jeb Jeb at that time, almost directly in front of the door. Smith grabbing a little bit earlier, um, but cleaner movement to the bunny from Jeb Jeb. If he's got two clean clips here, he could save some time and be even closer than, uh, than he was in HMC. Let's see, it looks like a, it looks good to me. Oh man, I thought, he wasn't turned around far enough to grab Mips back, but he was good. Proving me wrong again, Jeb Jeba. Oh, but dropping Mips as Mip as Smith heads into DDD. Jeb Jeba in quick on that second clip. Wow. Yeah, that was really fast. Oh, that bomb. <laughs> but he takes a bit him. of a bomb. Not a big deal. Hopefully. Uh, pretty close race still. Man, what a sink though. Uh, definitely, definitely one of the better sinks I've seen. Um, GSA has a really sick sync emo. Don't know if you've ever seen it before. Um, definitely probably uh, worth picking up at some point once they start their tournaments back up. But anyway, we're here at the Mushroom Cup. Smith 
heading for the back of the sub. Back sub Barry here. Let's see what strat he takes. Another he's triple, gonna, jump. triple jump. I know he's not. He's oh man, he almost fell off. That he was, was so, so close. close to that left hand side. He's got to feel good about getting out of there clean. While Jeb Jebba approaching the back fin, as Collins just said, backs up Barry. Whoa, he's going to come out the single jump, a silly kick, and he's going to save a little time over Smith on that back sub. It's definitely a lot faster than what Smith did, but it was the single jump was a little risky. He had a lot of speed. He could have dove forward by accident. Smith Jr. lining up for the pole grab again. Not going to be as <laughs> lucky as get it this time. time. <laughs> yeah, that that was, uh, I don't want to say lucky, because I don't want to diminish Smith's potential hard work into that star, but did not do the lineup at all. Also uh, getting for... hung up in the elevator shaft there. Yeah, and let's see how Jeb Jebba, and he's going to take another burn. This is, okay, that can get pretty scary uh, when you burn and don't make it onto the, to the platform. You can actually just take another two and die. It's quite unfortunate, but... Uh, I what is he? I, Jeb Jeb, what are you doing, bud? I, I like it works, I guess, but holy, I've never seen that before. Yeah, it's uh some definitely some avant garde strats here. We got Jeb Jebba, a fan of the jazz. Will Smith playing it a little um a little more conventional scary. classical almost music on the Smith. Off the edge. Holy, sorry to interrupt. I almost long jumped right off the edge. <laughs> I see Smith with Colin's favorite camera. He's going to hit the bomb. You didn't see it coming. <laughs> God, that camera out of Smith gets me every single time. I don't know how he knows where the bomb is, but hey, it works for him. He hasn't missed a Bowser throw here in the first two Bowsers. Oh, no. Jeb Jebba taking a death on Bowser 2 while Smith dabs. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I uh, don't know what else to say about that. Pretty big time loss. But uh, hopefully Smith, or hopefully for Jeb Jebba, Smith struggles on these BLJs as he's struggling to exit the stage here, Smith. But a 1606 door touch. He's on like a high 18 right now. As Jeb Jebba takes another two slice of pie damage. Maybe got to practice that a bit. He's pretty far from the bomb, but manages to nail it pretty well. And uh, let's see how Smith does these BLJs this time. Lining up a bit better. There and that he one's is right through. in there about as clean a BLJ as you get right there. Yeah, it's pretty definitely pretty solid. A uh, lot better than last time from Smith. Fortunately, it looks like Jeb Jebba here. Uh-oh, we oh, might see it. Smith. Smith. Nope, that was close, though. On his journey to, seven, to, on his journey to a sub-18 in this category, I can't tell you how many times he lost a 17 to uh, Wet Dry World on BLJs. I'm surprised he went through with that in this race scenario, but Smith... Seeming to just send it, um, met, you know, dare I say, balls to the wall here. Um, even though he's got the lead, an easy lead over Jeb Jebba. Still putting on a show. I bet you he still goes for left side. With Jeb Jebba actually making quick work of that BLJ this time. Let's see Smith's yeah, left side. Yeah, Smith taking a spill would be so bad. Uh-oh, commentator's curse. But uh, looks like he's good to go. And actually, Jeb Jeb had to abandon the BLJ. Now he's going for the weird camera BLJ. Man, that's really unfortunate for Jeb Jeb. I could have capitalized perhaps a bit on that. That error by Smith. Smith lining up the left side. He's going to miss take again. another one. Just take the long way home, Smith. Yeah, commentator's curse is a real thing. Uh, definitely no script involved here whatsoever. And uh, man, Jeb Jeb. Probably going to have to put in some work on these BLJs, unfortunately. Just kind of struggling. And Smith. Smith taking another one. Please just spare us. Smith, just take the pole. I don't think he's going to give up just yet. We're seeing Jeb Jebba still grinding away the first BLJ staircase. This one's for pride. He wants to finish strong. Show the fans at home. He's got that left side, and he sure does. Still on and pace for a sub-20 here. Could have, this run could have easily been an 18 had Smith hit that uh, hit that left side first try. Yeah, definitely pretty unfortunate there that he had such a struggle with that left side. Uh, more unfortunate for Jeb for Jeb Jebba. Could have made up a little bit of time there, and he's going to go ahead and clear past the loading zone there for the 70 staircase. But fortunately, it looks like barring some sort of I don't know, medical crisis or cartridge tilt. Smith is probably going to go ahead and take this one. He nails the first throw. 
And beautiful re-grab on the tail. Smith setting up for his second throw. Making Bowser dizzy. I don't know how many times he spun him there, but hey, he knows he's got the lead. He wants to finish nice thing. That was a nice re-grab. And I, uh, that was a crazy throw. I don't know <laughs> why he lined up that one. He's got that Smith Jr. C down is what we call that one. While Jeb Jeb is setting up left side over here. He's going to nail it without the ledge grab two races in a row. Yeah, it was pretty solid. But unfortunately for Jeb Jebba, Smith is going to take the W here. Looking to be like a 1942 or something along those lines. Um, so GG's to both racers there for sure. But Smith going to edge this one out. Uh, two solid uh, 1938. Two solid races by Smith Jr. A couple of mistakes. Um, but unfortunately for Jeb Jebba, could not capitalize on those on those errors. Jeb Jebba still going to give the folks at home a show. He's going to finish this fight with Bowser. Beautiful first throw. Not a bad re-grab there. He got him before Bowser got up. Nice, beautiful second throw here. Jeb Jebba showing why he was in this second round to start. Let's see if he nails his third throw. Oh, and it looks like he was going for that blind Smith strats, or he was just trying to get Bowser a little bit closer. He might not know the race is already over. Nailing the third throw on his second try. He's going to finish with a mid-20. Man, this race was close, huh? Yeah, very close for a long time. But unfortunately, Jeb Jeb just having a bit of a struggle uh, with BLJ's both races. And going to finish a 20-33 there. It was a bit of a late split. But yeah, Jeb Jeb just missing that throw uh, kind of was unfortunate in Fire C. And then on top of that, the BLJ's were rough. But that is the category of 16 star. It, uh, BLJs, like, they really kill you. Absolutely. We've got a what's with the high time, high run times from the Domino in chat. Domino, uh, we'll be posting the VODs for you in the Discord server, and you can check it all out. Check it all there. Not even sub 17s. Wow, Domino really uh, expecting a lot out of these new runners in Mario 64. So let's uh, get these runners on the microphone so we can have a little chat with them i'm unmuting smith and jeb jebba as we speak smith welcome in ggs your second win in a row congratulations how do you feel true uh, um i i actually have huge respect for uh jab um even though he didn't win though but Huge props to him. Huge, pro huge props to uh, to all racers, though, too, that I'm racing with. Absolutely. Um, but it's it's a miracle. It's a miracle indeed. Jeb, welcome in. You got hung up on those BLJs both races in a row. I saw you practicing them this morning before the race. Um, what happened there with the BLJs? You know, I've been having trouble with with BLJs lately. I've lost I've lost runs to BLJs in, in practice. BLJs hadn't been going well, so I, I, I was practicing this morning, and I was I was hoping it would it would kind of work itself out. But you know, any 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 anyone who runs sixteen will tell you, you know, so some days you can do BLJs, some days you can't. Yeah, that's how it goes. Sixteen star, unfortunately. Um, might I recommend Dowski's? Uh, BLJ tutorial though it definitely uh, helped me out BLJs quite a bit so maybe it'll do the same for you but fortunately that's just how it goes sometimes but still congrats you're looking pretty good um, holding your own with Smith for a long time there um, that that race was incredibly synced for like the longest time so uh, you know huge props I definitely anticipate you uh, once you nail out a couple of the uh, the kinks in the armor there you definitely uh will probably get a bit pretty big pb soon thank you absolutely um proud of both of you for showing up the good sportsmanship um wishing each other good luck before the race um smith jr gonna take this one today two races to nil jeb jebba i want to thank you for participating uh thanks for showing up being ready for all your races uh, thanks for the good sportsmanship. Um, you can find Jeb Jebba at twitch.tv slash Jeb Jebba. Be sure to give him a follow. Um, streaming some Super Mario 64 speedruns. Also, twitch.tv slash Smith Jr. Black Luigi. Uh, make sure we give these runners a follow. Um, 
help him out a little bit here. But we've got Smith Collins headed out to the semifinals. Let's take a look at the main bracket.